he played, you know, like uh, like Meta's capable of playing. You know, both ends of the floor. You know, he's uh, during his time off, he's he's really used it as an advantage to get himself in, you know, in tip top shape. Worked on the shooting, ball handling, defense, you know, even more so. So when he came back tonight, he was obviously ready, and um, his intensity and his energy is infectious. You know, we, we we play with the right energy. We play with the right focus. You know, it's uh, it's good to see us respond to that challenge. The kind of restraint that you had to use, and that the doubles were coming, and you were how patient you were. You you passed and passed and passed down the guts of a game seven instead of shooting. And, and was that was there any was it difficult or was it just that was the play? Five championships. It's not very difficult to win games. I don't have to show too much restraint. I think the the important thing with this game enabled me to do was, you know, I was able to talk to Andrew after the game and say, you know, this is the same position that you've been in all series, you know, and you, know, you just have to continue to talk to your teammates, continue, continue to instill confidence in them to knock down those shots. Um, and when they do, we're a much better team. But in terms of our job, we've done our job. I mean, guys come double and triple team, you giving guys wide open looks and. You know, from the standpoint of our responsibility to the ball club, we've done our job. Yeah, you know, Steve's insanely competitive. I don't know how, how well you guys know him. You know, outside of basketball, with the marathons and the, you know, um, the stuff that he does to stay in shape, he's just an insanely competitive individual. So, yeah, I knew in Game Seven he'd be ready for that challenge. He'd answer the bell, and he did. I mean, yeah, it's been an up and down season, but you know, he's had some adjusting to do uh, with starting, not starting, and kind of coming back and forth. But you know, he's a consummate professional, and uh, you know, he's ready for the big challenge today. I'm getting over it. I'm still, you know, looking at you guys doesn't help. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like brothers. You know, you compete with your brother. You know, somebody's got to win, and rather, you'd rather it be you. You know, somebody's going to have bragging rights in the summertime. And... Um, in terms of what he brings to the team, his experience, his leadership, um, I, I don't really know what their locker room dynamics are over there. But um, you know, with us, he was a, you know, a true inspiration for for the entire ball club. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be intense. Um, you know, it's the crowd's obviously going to have a field day with that, and um, you know, I'm sure their players will generate some type of energy from it. And uh, you know, for us, we just got to keep our poise and do what we do. Um, you expect change of words with George Carl after the game. What you guys say? And what's it like to compete against someone like that? He's, he's kind of no, I mean, he, he's an incredible coach, to to say the least. I mean, he what he was able to get out of his team and the adjustments that he made throughout the series were phenomenal. And um, you know, all, all I said to him is, you know, you don't have to double team me that much. I'm too old. I can't score like I used to anyway. <laughs> He said he wasn't falling for that, so. <laughs> <laughs>